Remember we're meeting Brendan at Pablo's 12.30 in Hotton. I could just meet you there. Well, on a Sunday, I thought we got plans. Well, you seem very excited about our treetop adventure idea. You wanted to hear more about it, I guess. Morning, Bernice. What? I think you just, you look like an Alice Cooper tribute act, that's all. Are you okay? Fine, I just fell asleep on the couch last night with all my makeup on. Isn't that a cardinal sin for a beautician? Well, everyone's entitled to a day off. Heavy night, was it? Uh, it's all a bit of a blur. I just remember there being wine involved. You're missing Dad. I know he's missing you. He rang me yesterday when he couldn't get hold of you. Missing me? He's probably having the time of his life. I'll stick some toast on, shall I? And I could get you some aspirin as hors d'oeuvres. Oh, it's all right. I've got some in my bag somewhere. Actually, um, I think I'll have breakfast in the cafe. Uh, fresh air will do me good anyway. Are you sure you don't mind taking me to Vic's? No, it's no bother. I just don't want to be late. Oh, just glad to see you're taking it seriously. <sighs> you're going to be great. Come here. Laura! Laura! Carl can't find his favourite teddy. It's the end of the world, apparently. I left it on the side when I tied it up. <sighs> hey, are you going to wish Holly good luck? It's her first proper day out in the van. Of course. Don't stuff it up. Are you? That's you making an effort, is it? Claims he couldn't sleep, but I fear that this is just a very transparent attempt to get out of church. Um, but our Amelia is saving both the seat. Thought we'd keep you company. Oh, now isn't that nice, Arthur? Come on. <laughs> I have to say, wait so they don't get me. Who's that? The pirate cast. Will you listen? That scaffolding was sound yesterday. This isn't my fault. It's all collapsed and totally destroyed the porch. I don't want to hear any more excuses if you can't man up and admit to it. I'm not admitting to something I haven't done. Well, if it's not your mistake, then how did it happen, eh? Answer me that. I don't know, maybe I should go around and have a look at it. Scaffolding just doesn't fall down on its own. Exactly. This is down to you cutting corners, hiring your dodgy mate to do it on the cheap. God knows what else you've botched. Hey, that slander, take pride in what I do. Just yesterday I was telling Bernice how good you were. But you're nothing but a cowboy. And all that's missing is a ten-gallon hat. You're off the job. Ready? Come on, Alfie. Yeah. Right. No running off today. Dogs might have their mad moments, but they're still more reliable than fellas. It's all right, Mum, I get it. <laughs> I know where I stand. Oh. I'm sure them stupid pictures, but you have to keep going on about it. Oh, Dr Bailey might still go to the police. You're doing yourself no favours by obsessing over him. You know, you've got to put him out of your mind. Is it really that simple? Look how hard it is for you moving on with Dad. Me and your Dad were married for 18 years. <gasps> it was my whole life. What you're going through isn't the same, Belle. Oh! Oh, sorry! I wasn't concentrating. You could have had me eye out. Cheryl, come here. Yeah, you're this dress. What are you doing reading this guff? It's not guff. Actually, you could do to read that yourself. There's some good stuff in there about getting over heartbreak. What are you on about? Yeah, on that doctor block. Oh, unrequited lover. Makes for a great chip flip, but pretty much sucks in real life. I thank you not to comment on private business. Private? It's all over the village. <laughs> There's no need to be embarrassed. We've all been there. If you want my advice... We don't, but you're going to give it to us anyway. Hmm. I think you need to ask the universe to help you out a bit, cos 
Your camel's all out of whack, like. Right, and how do I go about doing that? Offer it a sacrifice, Obs. I've just been reading about it in here. Tells you how to do a cleansing ritual, get your chakras cleaned out in no time. I'll give you a hand if you like. Could do with a spring clean myself. <laughs> well, have you got any better ideas? <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore me, I'm OK. Well, you don't look OK. <laughs> don't you have to be somewhere? Well, I'm meeting Chris here, but I can't leave you like this. <laughs> oh, Andy, I've made such a mess of everything. Last night I got drunk and I did something really stupid. Hey, come on, we've all done daft things when we've had one too many. <laughs> I remember when I got wasted. And I put Katie's wedding dress on. But this is worse. I... I sort of might have drove a digger into Mill. And I think I kind of did it on purpose. What? Are you sure this isn't some mad drunken dream you had? I know it sounds ridiculous. But I am ridiculous. My whole life's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, that was too whispering of a good question. When I asked, they said they could tell me, but then they'd have to kill me. <laughs> Weird. <gasps> Babe! I am going to need one of your special massages later. Uh, been on the go all morning since Benice went here all again. Uh, I can't tonight. I'm out celebrating my exams. I've got a scrabble a with all my classmates. Right, so you're ditching us for a trip on Geek Street with some spotty, spotty teenagers? Obviously, I don't want to, but there's a forfeit for the loser. And if I don't even turn up, I'll have to run around the campus in my shreddies. Nobody wants to see that, do they? Yeah, you've got that race. Everything all right? Lads, the fox runs free tonight. Attaboy. <laughs> Gentlemen, mind if I join you? Uh, sorry, mate, this is kind of a private conversation. <laughs> oh, what? Women? Definitely not. Gambling? Uh, fellas, remember the first rule? We're not supposed to talk about it. Except you've already blabbed to Rodney. Oh, come on. If it's something fun, I'd like to get it on the action. But all I get is grief all day long. Jay and Priya bickering at work. Rakesh and Priya bickering at home. I need a break. Also, you know somewhere to smoke my Cuban cigars in peace? Oh, I didn't know you indulged. Well, like I say, I don't often get the chance. Hey, look, I've practically got stockpile. Just sitting there. Well, 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 well welcome. I think we might be able to help you out with that. <laughs> there. Not bad for a morning's work, eh? Oh, thanks. Hang on, this is too much. You know, these summer fates are a gold mine. Plus, there's an extra fiver in there, which is your tip off the cute guy with the glasses who was so into you. Um, so I'm going to do my accounts, but if you wanted to grab lunch in the pub later... Well, actually, I was going to head into town. OK. Uh, have fun. I will. Hiya. Why won't you listen? I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. I've been to the site, the digger's been moved and it's all scratched up. I reckon it was driven into the scaffolding. Someone's setting me up here. What makes you think it was Benice? It's either her or Lawrence. Lawrence is in Dubai. So I don't think he'd let that stop him. He's not one to do his own dirty work, is he? Maybe he got you to do it this time. I mean, he's already set his henchman on me once. What? When? Don't act me innocent. I saw that guilty look on your face before. I reckon you're in this together. I know you both want to see it back of me, but this is low. My livelihood's at stake here. It was me, OK? It was an accident, but it was my fault. I don't want you blaming Benice. Somebody's doing well for themselves. Not that my business is any of yours, Brenda. No, no, I'm interested. I had no idea a takeaway van could make that kind of money. Mm, and I could have made even more this morning if I'd have realised how many people were going to be there. What festivals is going to be where the money's at? People get hammered, then they get hungry. Hiya. How'd it go? 
Did Tolly do okay? Oh, yeah, she was amazing. Proper little entrepreneurs, by the sounds of things. <laughs> yeah, no, I couldn't do festivals. All those druggy types that... No offence. No. So, where is she? Oh, she went off into Hotton to blow her wages. You let her go off on her own? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, but, you know, she's a grown woman. Oh, Victoria, she'll always be an addict. And now she's got a pocket full of money. We're trying not to worry. Well, how can I? Still not answering her phone. What's going on? Oh, Holly's gone off into town on her own. So? I'm just being paranoid. Listen, I'm, I'm going to go home because she'll probably be back soon. Come here. Rakesh. I thought I made myself clear we're done. Actually, new evidence has come to light. It was down to me. Sam asked me to fetch the digger and I... I pulled the wrong lever and crashed into the scaffolding. I'm sorry. Obviously, Home Farm will cover any costs. You're telling me this now after I made an absolute idiot of myself? <sighs> Ronnie, yeah. Obviously, I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. So, if you'd uh, like to get back to work? I only came here to clear my name, so pay me what I'm owed, then find some other mug. Brilliant. This is going to set the project back by weeks. I'm sorry. It must be a good mate, covering like that. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, I know it was you. I understand you've been in a bad place, so I'll let it go this time. But you've got to realise the problem you've got is not with me. It's between you and Lawrence. Right, have you got something to burn that represents your man? I've got this. Why have you got that? Is that something to do with David? Uh, yeah, but not David. It's, um, David Beckham. I had a crush on him as a kid. <laughs> really need to let it go. What's with the shopping bag, then? What's this? David on it, do not it? Lisa? Uh, yeah. Um, I was going to use it as a duster, but I thought it would spread more muck and grease around. <laughs> <laughs> I have Samson's toy. Of course, we're like the witches of Eastwick. By Michelle Pfeiffer, obviously. Can we just get on with it? Right. <sighs> Universe, we offer you these gifts, and in return, we ask that you heal our aching hearts. <sighs> oh no! My scratch cast still in there! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's nice mm. to see you smiling again, love. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not going to be miserable over someone who doesn't even care about me. Right. Good riddance to bad rubbish, eh? Shall I bro? Oh, I think you've done enough, Andy. I'm so sorry you got dragged into all this. Oh, that's okay. You still haven't told me what all this is about. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, I've just taken the rap for you. Don't you think I deserve an explanation, at least? Besides, I'm worried about you. Andy, where have you been? Uh, I got held up. Well, it doesn't look good to a prospective business partner not to bother showing up. It's all my fault. Sam asked me to fetch the digger from the mill for Lawrence. I, I go into a bit of a scrape. Yeah, it's all sorted now, though. It's no biggie. Sorry for monopolising him. It took longer than I thought. Sorry. It's OK. I thought Brendan would go through it with him another time. Why don't we spend an hour or two going through our pitch? Hmm? No, you go on. I'm fine, honestly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> come in, oh. come in. <laughs> Why, it's an oasis. It is, yeah. isn't it? Especially now that we've got adult furniture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I know you said no women allowed, but I was hoping you might make an exception. Oh. Well, I told you it was going to fit right in. <laughs> and of course, no oh. pirate ship is complete without a bottle of rum. Oh, oh not me, but please, you all enjoy yourselves. Um, 
Here's to us and true friendship. Yeah. Friendship. <laughs> friendship. <laughs> All done. Well, for today. Chris says I'm in a bath. Aren't you going to go and scrub her back? <laughs> I wanted to see if you were all right. Come on, Bernice. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? You've been brilliant today, Andy. You can't fix everything. What is it that needs fixing? You said your life's ridiculous, but from where I'm standing, well, it's pretty perfect. You've got the house, money. You can see how much Lawrence loves you. Lawrence doesn't love me. <laughs> He's gay. What? Why do you think that? I've had my suspicions for ages. Then Ronnie confirmed it. And he should know, cos there used to be an item. Ronnie? As, as in the builder? It was right what you said earlier. Lawrence does want him gone. And now I know why. But he's scared of his feelings for him. <laughs> Victoria. Still hasn't heard from her. Why don't you see it? I told you so. Why are you so worked up? You said you trusted her yesterday. Yeah, that's before she went AWOL. Yeah, maybe I am an idiot. I mean, she's probably out there now off her head. Holly, where have you been? Town. <laughs> the shops. What, all this time? Yeah, why didn't you call us and tell us you were staying out? I didn't realise I needed to. Well, where are all your shopping bags, then? I couldn't find anything I liked. Let me look at you. Mum? Give me a bag. <laughs> Give it to me. Mum, don't. Mm -hmm. One in you, Holly. What's this? Gig tickets. It was meant to be a surprise. To replace the ones you lost. Right. Look, the amount of times you've messed up, you can't blame your mum for thinking the worst. I, I know. No, it's OK, I get that. I just hope one day you might believe in me. Holly, I'm so sorry. But I just... I mean, where do I go from here? What do I do? I can't stay, now I know it's all a lie. If I go, the humiliation. I don't know what to say. I mean, at least if it was another woman, I'd stand a fighting chance. But how can I compete? I haven't even got the right bits. He was supposed to look after me. I wasn't supposed to get my heart broken again. Unlike all the other men I've had, I thought I could actually trust him to be straight with me. Everyone thought I was using him for his money. 
It turns out he was using me. So he could pretend to be something he's not. I can't blame anyone but myself. I had the blinkers on because I couldn't bear to be alone. Bernice, don't let him do this to you. I'm a joke. No. You're amazing. And any decent bloke can see that. And where are they then, these blokes? They're hardly beating a pass. I don't want to be on my own. You won't be. I don't suppose there's any wine left after your efforts last night. I think there's another bottle. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Come on. Let's go and drink this upstairs. Night, then. Night. And the dramas continue in Emmerdale tomorrow night at 7. But as tonight here on ITV, Michelle has more bad news for Steve while Leanne and Nick grow closer in Coronation Street. And then at 8.30 tonight, DCI Stanhope investigates when the bodies found in a fire at a holiday park in Vera.